Hey guys, welcome to yet another trailer review. I know I've done nothing but trailer reviews lately, but there have been a ton that have been coming out, so I just have to talk about them. I will get back to doing some movie reviews fairly soon, it's just that all these trailers drop at the same time. Also, check out my new posters. I got a Harry Potter one and a Darth Vader one. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, so this is my Fast and Furious 8, also known as the actual title is going to be The Fate of the Furious which, by the way, has to be one of the dumbest titles I think I've ever heard in my entire life. I don't know why they didn't just go with Fast 8 or Furious 8 or Fast and Furious 8. It just would have sounded a lot better. Maybe they just wanted some new title because there are some things happening in this trailer that's going to blow the doors off of everything we've known for the past seven movies in the past 15 years. So let's get into this trailer. So when I heard this trailer was going to drop, I was pretty concerned because the ending of Furious 7 was kind of bittersweet. It was the perfect send off for Paul Walker. All the characters sort of rode off into the sunset. They sort of had this moment where everything was fine. So when they picked up for an eight and they're gonna do eight, nine, 10, I was pretty concerned because number one, they're doing it without Paul Walker and number two, I just don't know where the franchise would go from here, but based on this trailer, it's going to get pretty insane pretty fast, or pretty fast and pretty furious, or something like that. I don't really know, but it's pretty much insanity that's happening in this trailer. And what they decided to do was completely different from what we've known for the past 15 years, and it is completely flipping everything we've known about this franchise on its head. So basically what happens in the beginning of this trailer, the whole team is finishing a job. There's a big wrecking ball that crashes through all this like cop cars and stuff like that. Dom and the Rock go off on their own little way and Dom completely wrecks into the Rock. He completely goes sideways on all of his crew and it's completely insanity. I don't know what is happening in this trailer, but it's completely mind boggling, at least story wise. And I don't know what to think of it. I'm super excited. It looks awesome. The w direction they're taking it, it feels kind of different. It feels almost like a triple X meets Fast and Furious. That's really the best way I can categorize this film based on some of the things that are happening in this trailer. For instance, in a little while during the trailer, it shows Vin Diesel with like this armor and like this mask, almost kind of like a Slade Wilson sort of thing, mercenary. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but it just is completely different from what we've seen so far in the franchise. So essentially what I can tell from this trailer is that Vin Diesel's character is either working for or brainwashed or something is happening where this character Cypher, which is Charlize Theron's character, has some type of leverage over Dom that makes him turn against his crew. His family, the thing that he's been talking about since movie number one, is the thing he's turning his back on now. And it's such an interesting story and I think it's really interesting. I'm just sort of concerned about the Charlize Theron whole aspect of this film she kind of has like this dreadlock hair and I don't really know how she's going to play into it she's supposed to be like this super expert hacker I think so she's got to have some kind of dirt on Dom or something that has him flipping sides on his crew at least for now I don't know what it is but I'm super excited to find out it's just the Charlize Theron character kind of has me iffy but I'm definitely interested in this story Another aspect that definitely has me interested in this trailer is whose help they're going to have to enlist in order to catch Dom and really kind of put him down along with Cypher, Charlize Theron's character. So essentially what's happening is he locks up the rock, he gets in trouble for whatever, helping the crew or something like that, and they need help from, guess who, Deckard Shaw, aka Jason Statham's character from Furious 7. That's going to be kind of a mess because now they have a real villain that they have to have help them rather than sort of going against the villain which they've done for at least the past few movies so that's going to be an interesting dynamic how the good guys are going to play with the bad guy in order to catch the good guy who's doing the bad stuff that's probably the best way i can explain what's happening here but i think it's going to be an interesting dynamic it's going to feel a lot different from what we've grown to know over the past seven films Oh, and if you were worried about that over-the-top element that they have in every single film since at least Fast Five. Fast Five, we had a bank vault barreling through the streets of Rio. Fast Six, or I guess Fury, Fast and Furious Six, whatever you want to call it. They had a giant plane going down the world's longest runway. In Furious Seven, we had planes jumping, or cars jumping out of planes and then across three buildings. Just pure insanity. Now you're going to ask yourself, how are they going to top that? They answered it with this one. They're going to introduce a submarine. So I don't know exactly 
what they're thinking entirely, but they just keep going bigger, not necessarily bigger, but they find a new way to introduce something absolutely ridiculous that has nothing to do with cars. And it concerns me about the whole submarine, how that's going to play into stuff. But at the same time, it's intriguing because it's also different, but it's also something we've sort of seen before in other like big budget action movies like James Bond, stuff like that. So I'm kind of iffy on it, but I'm still interested in seeing this movie because they have me hooked. It's a Fast and Furious movie, and if you're invested in seven movies, you're going to have to see the next one. So basically, this movie's going to be pure insanity. As I was watching this trailer, I was like, Say what? To be honest, I'm in a bit of a loss for words on how to really assess this trailer. I'm a sucker for the Fast and Furious franchise, so I'm definitely going to see this movie. But at the same time, it completely flips everything we've known for the past 15 years on its head. The past seven movies, Dom is now the bad guy for some unknown reason. And it's just going to create this interesting dynamic that I think is going to carry through, ep the ep I call them episodes, I guess, but number eight, nine, and ten. So I think this is going to be a long saga of how to get Dom back or fix his mind or whatever the hell may be going on in the trailer. But either way, I'm super excited it's only actually going to be coming out in April. I figured they would prolong it a little bit longer and maybe make us wait till the end of July, close to August. But luckily, we only have to wait about three and a half, four and a half months before we actually get to see Fast. Uh, I hate calling it Fate of the Furious. Fast and Furious 8. We're going to get to see Fast and Furious 8. I'm calling it that. I'm not calling it the stupid title. But I'm definitely excited that it's only short four months away rather than a short eight months away. So if you guys haven't seen the trailer, I'll leave the link down to it in the description box down below for you to check it out. If you have seen it or when you come back in after you've watched it, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think is going on with Dom? Is he brainwashed? Is uh, Charlize, Char Charlize Theron's character have some kind of dirt on him? Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. Also, be sure on this next, you'll see it in a minute, um, I did a video of the Fast and Furious franchise analyzed. Definitely be able to be sure to check out that video. I put a lot of work into that, and it sort of creates a rift as to figure out which is the best Fast and Furious movie, what's the best elements, all that stuff like that. So be sure to click that video and check that out as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. You really are the best, and I'll see you in the next one.